Hello friends, I, Dr. Nazir Tarashidi, Assistant Professor in Chemistry, Shri Musaji Maharaj Mahavidyalya Darwa. I am here to present my paper titled as Biological Evaluation of Some New 134 Oxide Azole Derivatives. Before I start my presentation, at the outset, I am very much thankful to International Journal of Science and Research for providing me this wonderful opportunity of e-presentation of the paper. Now, let me move to my presentation. I have outlined my presentation under the following heads. First, we will see the introduction. Then, we will see the objective of the present work. Then, we will discuss the material and method. Under that, we will see first chemistry that is the synthesis of the compound in brief. Next, we will move to our main objective that is antifungal activity of the synthesized compound. Then we will see the result in discussion and finally conclusion. Also, we will have a look on acknowledgement as well as references which I have used for this work. So, let me begin with introduction. Just to introduce, literature has revealed that 134 oxide isole nucleus showed a great variety of application in pharmaceutical, medicinal, as well as application in polymer and material science. These 134 oxide isole nucleus possess a broad spectrum of acti activities such as anti cancer. Antifungal, antibacterial, anti tumoral, anti inflammatory, anti convulsant, anti hypertensive, anti obesity, antiviral, and many more. And because of these widespread use of 134 oxide isole in medicinal chemistry, establish this moiety as important bioactive class of heterocycles. Moreover, synthesis of 134 oxide isole is centered on cyclodehydration of carboxylic acid hydrazides or oxidation of hydrozone using various oxidizing agents. They are frequently used as a ester or amide substituent in medicinal chemistry. These observations prompted me to synthesize new derivative of 134 oxide isole and to evaluate them for their antifungal activities. So, the objective of the present work is to study antifungal activities of series of synthesized 134 oxide isole nucleus. Now, let me move to material and method. First, we will see in brief synthesis of this new derivative of 134 oxide isole. All the chemical used for the synthesis as well as to study antifungal activity of the compound were cheap and readily available. Also, they were less toxic. So, these are the notable points regarding this present work. Initially, acid hydrazides were obtained by esterification of corresponding acids followed by treatment with hydrazine hydrate in absolute ethanol. Then, acid hydrazides were condensed with carbon disulfide and potassium hydroxide in absolute ethanol to yield 2,5-disubstituted 134-oxide isole derivatives. So, using this scheme, I have prepared 6 different derivatives of 134-oxide isole. The purity and structure of all the synthesized compounds were confirmed by TLC, elemental analysis, and spectral data such as IR and NMR. So, this was all about the synthesis of new derivative of 134 oxide isole. Now, let me move to our main objective that is to study antifungal activity of the synthesized compound. The antimicrobial activity 
of any compound is generally expressed as its inhibiting effect towards the growth of microbe in nutrient growth and for the evaluation of antimicrobial that is antibacterial and antifungal activity various methods have been proposed and adopted in the present work the newly synthesized 1,4 oxidizable derivatives were screened for their antifungal activity using well, diff well diffusion method. The fungus used were Aniger, Trichoderma varied, and C. albicans. Amphotericin was used as a standard drug. Here I have mentioned the preparation of the medium. Preparation of the medium is one of the important steps in any microbiological assay of any compound. So once the medium is prepared, we will move to the next experimental part. All the compounds were dissolved in dimethyl sulfoxide to give a concentration of 10 mg per ml. Other plates of all the compounds were prepared and well were made in the plates. Each plate was incubated with 24 hour cold culture and spread evenly on the plate. The control well were filled with antibiotic amphotericin, which was used as a standard. All the plates were incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. The zone of inhibition was recorded after incubation of 24 hours at 37 degrees centigrade using antibiotic zone scale and the diameter of inhibition was noted in mm. The inhibition zone record of all the compounds clearly indicates that the compound is active against fungal. These are the picture of the plates prepared during the experimental work against the fungus A. nigger and C. albicin. Now we will discuss the result. The present paper is focused on the evaluation of antifungal activity of newly synthesized compound against the fungus A. nigger, trichoderma varied and C. albicin. The antifungal activity and the inhibition effect of the test compound on the growth of fungus, anigar, trichoderma varied, and C. albicans are summarized in this table. All the compounds show activity against these three tested fungus. So, finally, I conclude new. 5-aryl 134-oxidizole to thion very screen for their antifungal activity against anigar, trichoderma varied and C. albicans. The minimum inhibitory concentration that is MIC of all the compounds were determined by observing the zone of inhibition formed after 24 hours of incubation for antifungal activities. Compounds were found to have moderate to good antifungal activity. The simple workup, inexpensive, moderate to good antifungal activity of the synthesized compound had been reported in the present paper. And these are the lead points of the present work. Finally, I acknowledge the Biogenic Research and Training Center in Biotechnology, Hubli, Karnataka for providing biological screening report. I would like to express sincere thanks to International Journal of Science and Research for giving me this opportunity to share my research orally. These are the references which I have used for the present work. Finally, you can check, list, check the detail of this presentation as well as of my work in this paper. Thank you. Thank you for your kind attention.